The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with your host, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the January 29th, terrific Tuesday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. And my outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that is really what it's all about. So let's go take a look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call Success breeds success now certainly you've heard the phrase success is a journey not a destination and half the fun is just getting there so how is it that we get there what difference between a life filled with struggle and one that is full of earned pleasure I believe I believe the answer comes from the two most fundamental laws of the universe those two laws being the law of inertia and the law of attraction now the law of inertia states it's easier for something in motion to stay in motion, just like the markets, which of course means just the opposite is true. Once something is at rest, it's easier to rest. So if you're a person who knows you need to take action, yet you can't find the motivation to move forward for whatever the reason might be, know that once you take action, the law of inertia will take over. In fact, taking some action will likely lead to what? That's right, taking massive action, taking massive action is really what it's all about. Perhaps you need to start exercising, but you're finding it tough to get started. We all know that once you do get started, inertia will take over. Perhaps there's some form of education that you're looking for. Folks, once you take action, inertia will take over. Success is indeed a journey, and success, folks, will absolutely breed more success. Take action. Take massive action, and the inertia will take over. Let's go take a look at the inertia in the markets today. We have the Dow futures down about 19 points right now, trading out at 13,813. The ES mini off about almost four points, trading out at 1493. NASDAQ futures down five out at 2732. Russell off a point out at 903. King dollar back two pennies, trading out at 79.83. Got the uh, euro relatively flat out there, trading out at 1.3454. You've got the uh, Japanese uh, yen, that's also flat here right now. The British pound making a slight bounce after getting totally pounded uh, over the uh, past here. If we take a look at uh, gold, you've got gold trading up uh, $8. That's after hitting the uh, 0.618 retracement. We'll certainly take a look at that gold chart. That's trading out at 16 61 silver up 33 pennies that's up a percent this morning trading out at 3110 light sweet crude light sweet crude is uh up 31 cents at 96.74 around the globe we've got the hang Seng closed down 16 the nikkei was up 42 the shanghai up 13 over in germany the dax is off 13 and the FTSE up seven points our call in number is always 877-927-6648 so when you woke up this morning and you saw that futures were trading lower, were you wondering why and or whether or not, you know, what did that mean? Were they going to bounce? And if you watch us on Tiger TV, we're going to start off taking a look at the just simply the 10-minute chart here on the ES Mini because we're going to use a set of tools that always works, always helps to answer the uh, questions out there. And if you are listening in on the radio, maybe you're listening on your mobile device, remember, you can always get the live stream of this show and all the shows here at TFNN by going to the homepage of TFNN.com over on the right-hand side. You'll see those three little smartphones. Just click on that. This show will stream live to that smartphone device. And if you can't, if you're driving, most certainly you don't want to be uh, watching the uh, video. What you want to do is just simply go to the archive of this show, which is on Channel 9. So as we take a look at just simply the 10-minute chart here, you've got a black horizontal line. That line is really now our line of support. It's been tested three times. You can kind of see, not kind of see, you can see that the uh, ES Mini really consolidating the lows here on the ES Mini being that low right about the uh, 1491 level. The highs here of the consolidation range, you could say up in about the 1499. We'll just simply call it 1500. So between 1500 and 
and the uh, 1491 area is the uh, range for this uh, consolidation. Now, as the ES Mini, we're just simply going to come back to the most recent uh, time period, about 1.20 in the morning. For those of you that were late night owls and early morning risers out here, you did have the ES Mini out at the 1499 level. Of course, when it was up there, if you take a look at that relative strength indicator down there, what was happening, you were up towards that 70% range, 69.82 to be exact. I think we can go ahead and round that to 70. When you get up there, what happens? What do you wait for? You wait for those bearish engulfing candles or bearish candles. It doesn't have to be a bearish engulfing. But what did you get, which is more common, you're going to get a bearish engulfing. took place at 150 on the 10-minute chart. That was your signal. If you were intraday trading, we're going to call it intra-evening, intra-early morning trading out there, that was your signal to go ahead and take a long position off and go short. And, of course, what did the market do? Move down to the last swing point, making a 100% move of a move. <coughs> Excuse me, that was... Coming down in the 10.20 a.m. time frame yesterday at that 14.91 level. You know when the market does a 100% move of a move? It's usually going to do something else. Well, that's what was happening this morning as you were getting out of bed, as you were waking up probably at that 6.40 a.m. time frame. You had the ES Mini trade down to that 14.91 level. Of course, we take a look at the relative weakness side of the relative strength indicator out there. You were down in that 18.76 level. All you had to do was just simply wait for a bullish candle to show up. And most certainly on a 10-minute chart, that took place when? Took place at 6.50 this morning. What have we had going on since then? Once you get to oversold, what happens? You've got to work that condition off. The market has to bounce. And, of course, what we are seeing now is the bounce that's underway. This is going to be key because how far will this bounce? Is this just simply going to make a .618 retracement? Right now, all that it's done which is in the 1494 level, has made a .382 retracement. It's not up at the overbought territory, but looks to me, if we were to continue to move higher as we go into the open, up to 1495, which would be in the 1495, 1496, nothing more than a .618 retracement, we would see on the 10-minute chart, we would see the market get where? We would see it get into the overbought territory. I don't know that to be exact, but... All we have to do is just simply watch the uh, charts on the 10-minute time frame out there. Why is that important? Well, because that could be setting up the A to B equals C, D down in the uh, marketplace. So if we go switch over, this was a 10-minute chart that we were looking at. If we go take a look at the 30-minute uh, chart yesterday uh, when we were on, I mentioned that, well, we clearly see where the bulls are hanging out. And the bulls were hanging out at that 1491 level. So now we're on the 30-minute chart. And what was happening at 1030 yesterday morning when I said we know where the bulls are hanging out? Well, you had one of Stevie's hammer candles. That's an important low right now. That low gets taken out on the intraday, on the short-term charts. If you're long, you're wrong. It's as simple as that. When you break a hammer candle, it says the bulls are nowhere to be found. Where would they show up next on the ES Mini? Well, it's pretty simple. If we take a look at A to B equals CD patterns out here, and I'm going to assume that what we're going to see is we're going to see the market bounce up to that point six one eight level. And if we take a look, and we're going to use a tool here, we're going to draw an A to B equals CD down. That uh, A to B equals CD down pattern would go ahead and take the ES Mini down to about the 1488 level. What would we find down there? Well, we'd probably find a point six one eight retracement. Let's go test that out. If we take a look at this coming off of the uh, lows here at about, uh, let's see, 6.30 in the evening on January 23rd, up to the highs that were put in at 9 o'clock, well, what we're going to see is sweet 618 hanging right out at that 1489, and we had 1488 was a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. That's where you would expect your next bounce to uh, take off from. That's on the 30-minute chart out there. Let's go take a look at the uh, daily as we take a look at the daily on the ES Mini, what we see taking place out here is we see a 1.272 butterfly pattern. That, typically a reversal pattern. You know, we were taking a look at yesterday. We were able to easily outline yesterday candle formations. What would be a key reversal day or a bearish engulfing? Well, if we take a look at yesterday, as a little bit slightly higher high was made, you had the ES Mini yesterday, get up to that 1,500 round number high. Of course, in the ES Mini, that's an easy thing to do because it's trading in quarter increments out there. So 1,500 was the uh, number. If we take a look at the exact point, 1.272 1 would take you up to about 1,503. What formed yesterday? Yes, one of those doji candles. Is that important? 
folks, doji candles up around resistance areas have more meaning than any other place on any charting system that is out there. And that is what we had yesterday because we were completing a 1.272 pattern. The Japanese have an expression, especially when you're up around a resistance area. A lower close, it's like fall setting in. It's like leaves falling off of the tree. And that's something you want to be paying attention to, whether you're a bull or a bear. Those doji candles, will those become pretty easy to engulf because you had the open and the close at the same price? A lower close today, just simply put, a lower close today, you're going to see leaves falling off the tree. You're going to see a bearish engulfing. And we know on the daily chart, the ES Mini is in that overbought condition. Those are the trade setups for the day. How important are those dojis up at resistance areas? Well, all you have to do is go peek in on that natural gas contract. If we go take a look at natural gas after it made a .618 rise, that was taking us back into the January 22nd time frame. You had two dojis in a row, resting candles out there. You had that doji also occur on January 23rd. And look at those leaves falling off of the tree. Look at those leaves. Now we got natural gas heading to the $3.17 mark, perhaps lower, making a .786 retracement. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. We'll be right back. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. TFNN is proud to partner with Great Panther Silver for another exciting silver coin giveaway. The Great Panther Silver Super Silver Giveaway begins the week of January 28th and we'll be choosing 47 lucky winners. It's free to enter with absolutely no strings attached. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com today to fill out your entry form. Every hour that we're on the air, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. the week of January 28th, we'll be randomly choosing one lucky winner that will win a silver coin or bar from Great Panther Silver and TFNN. And the final hour of the week, Friday, February 1st, we'll choose three lucky winners. That's 47 winners in just one week with over $1,000 in silver given away to our loyal listeners. Register today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. And for more information on Great Panther Silver, you can click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex symbol GPL or on the Toronto Stock Exchange symbol GPR. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. It absolutely is, folks. Welcome back. And, uh, you know, releasing earnings. We're right in the uh, thick of uh, earnings season out here. Last night after the bell you had, uh, let's see, as far as big movers, you got VMware. That's trading down 20% right now. Last trade fired off at $79.40 or so. They closed out at $98.32. We'll take a look at that chart. Uh, Yahoo having a nice morning here, uh, trading out at twenty eighty three. That's up about 2.5%. Uh, Peabody Energy out with with uh, earnings this morning, uh, they close at twenty five sixteen, out at twenty five forty three. That's up a percent. Dr. Horton in the housing business, DHI is there. Ticker symbol having a nice morning up four and a half percent. Last trade far enough at twenty two and a quarter. They closed at twenty one thirty one. Ford out with uh, numbers down. Great numbers out there. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, Ford uh, stock chart out there. They closed at thirteen seventy eight. No great shakes, just down to one percent. Uh, last trade far enough at thirteen fifty nine. Uh, Corning G. GLW is their ticker symbol. They're up a little over a percent. Closed at 12.15, up 15 cents out at 12.30. Hog, Harley Davidson out there. They're down about a half a percent. Uh, they closed at 53.20. Last trade fired off at 52.90. No great shakes out there. Valero, Valero having the biggest pop here, uh, up 8.5 percent. They closed at 38.81, uh, trading uh, right now at 42.13. So let's go start with uh, Valero. VLO is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go see what the, they are trading into. Boy, i got a, a chart here that is all decorated. Let me go ahead and get rid of most of the uh, stuff out here. It will be a little bit easier for us to uh, see what we have going on. Let's take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern that we might be taking a look at forming out here. Our B point on this we're looking at is September 14th. Uh, no great shakes there. That is 11.6 million shares. Let's go ahead and draw the line across there, that price point. And you can see also at that September 14th level, price getting into to the extreme overbought territory, of course, it had to work its way off, and it moved down to where? Moved its way down towards that oversold level. So let's go take a look at that B point. Let's draw the uh, volume across the uh, bar as well on September 14th. Let's see if this was taken out with volume as the B point was being passed. Let's see, you had a nice gap up on January the uh, 2nd, but not taken out with uh, volume. Uh, looks like you had your volume bar, so you did get a volume bar, did cross it with volume, and this is on January 8th out there. So Valero having a confirmed A to B equals CD up. Let's go see what that takes us to from a price standpoint. Not a uh, not a significant retracement out there. One to one would take you at forty two dollars and twelve cents. Valero just uh, last trade firing off at forty two oh three forty two twelve. That is the uh, number. Of course, it's going to gap up into the D point. When you gap up into a D point. Is that where it is you're going to stop? We're going to have to see how it is that it trades, but most likely, no. It looks like Valero may be headed up to that 4590 range. Of course, this is the shorter A to B equals CD pattern that we were looking at. That is on Valero. You can see here it is already in the extreme overbought uh, condition. Says that really it ought to uh, go ahead and uh, move sideways, pull back, but it's going to have a, a nice pop here uh, this morning. 
had some pretty decent volume yesterday, did 11.9 million shares out there. That is on Valero. Let's go take a look at the opposite side here. Let's go take a look at a stock that is struggling. Let's go look at VMware. Let me see if I have that out here on my charts. Looks like I somehow didn't put that out there. Let's go ahead and do it in this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're looking at uh, V. Uh, VMW, VMW, so that is uh, going to be taking a, a hit this morning. I suspect we're going to see it down on volume as well. So VMware trading out right now at the $79 level. So let's go see where that is headed to. Remember, every time that you open up a uh, chart, you want to take a look and see where those high volume bars. Well, if we take a look at a high volume bar here uh, at the on, on VMware at the uh, lows, you're going to go back to July 18th. That low of that session is 85.32. As we said, VMware trading out right now at 79.02. It's going to go ahead and take out. It looks like these swing points. The swing point is the candle prior, which is July 17th. That low, 79.46. That is the area where we are going to uh, see the struggle. Will it be able to hold that? If not, it will be, and if it's down with volume, that will be taking out a B point with volume. Oh, if we go back just a little further, here we go. And I pulled the chart back just a little further for you folks. That was taking us back into December 21st, 2011. There's your high volume low out there. There is uh, what is set up, quite frankly, an island reversal uh, formation. Let's go ahead and uh, clean this chart up a little bit on the uh, screen. So if you are following along at Tiger TV... So, and we take a look at this, so you had a really a two-day island reversal. If you take a look at December 20th, the low there was 83.59. Valero, uh, not Valero, VMware gaps down with volume, 9.5 million shares. Trade sideways the very next day and gaps up. A nice little island reversal that set up that nice run to the upside. That area, that island is going to be rescued this morning as VMware trades down into it. 877-927-6648. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Just recently, on December 28th, Market Insight subscribers were advised to go along the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 ETF, on December 28th at 63.91. And only two trading days later, after a huge jump in the markets, Market Insight subscribers were advised to sell the QQQ at 66.64 for a $2.73 or 4.27% profit to start off 2013. At the same time, Tom O'Brien had advised his clients looking for a more leveraged trade that they could have initiated a position in the QLD, the ProShares Ultra QQQ ETF, and over the same two trading days, Market Insight subscribers were able to lock in a $4.48 profit or an 8.47% gain in just one trade. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during your free trial and pay nothing. Don't miss out on the next great trading opportunity in 2013. Act today. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. 
Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading, and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. to the races we got the dow up seven points composite down seven s p totally flat out there russell down a uh, point google off a buck 79 apple up seven bucks trading out at 457 microsoft back seven ticks intel off two cisco down 20 cents leading the charge the upside hess corporation up eight bucks that's trading out at 70 45 apple right behind them valero as we talked about in the pre-market up 350 marathon petroleum mpc up two bucks in change uh, Carry X Biopharma up two and a quarter. Sierra Wireless up a buck seventy seven. Plum Creek up a buck sixty eight out there. Holly Frontier up a buck sixty one. To the downside, VMware leading the charge off twenty bucks and change. Ashland Inc. off six and a half bucks. Citrix Systems CTX. S off four dollars and thirty five cents. F five networks off four bucks and change. BMC software up three. Monroe muffler off three. Amazon struggling a bit, uh, having a tough day yesterday. Off another three dollars this morning. Salesforce dot com. CRM off two sixty. Seagate technology off a couple of bucks as well. Again, our call numbers eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, folks. And we've got a winner. We've got a winner, folks, in our Great Panther Silver Giveaway. Congratulations out there to Patricia of the Villages in Florida. Patricia, if you're listening in, go ahead and give us a call. We'd love to uh, hear from you. Folks, do yourself a favor. Go over to the homepage of TFNN.com. It is not too late for you to enter and become our next winner in the uh, Great Panther Silver Giveaway. We're going to give away silver in the next hour, every hour on the hour that we are on at TFNN, and that is from 9 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. between now and Friday. So go over to the homepage and sign up for that. Let's go to uh, Brian. Brian in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Brian, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Doing fantastic. How are you doing this morning? That's, I am doing uh, great. Thank you for asking. You wanted to go across the pond, the big pond over in the Pacific, and take a look at Sony. Tell us what you're doing and how we can help you. Well, I'm a, I'm a short-term swing trader, kind of a counter-trend short-term trader, one to five days yes. mainly. Okay. I was looking at Sony, but I had a couple of questions. I noticed, especially the last few days, that there's been a lot of gaps. And if you go back and look the last year, I didn't know. I, for some reason, this stock gaps a lot. And uh, I'm, I was looking at it as a short candidate. I just wanted your opinion and maybe why it gaps so much. Absolutely. The reason that it gaps so much is because of the foreign currency translation that you've got. So the underlying instrument of Sony, the real Sony, is basically trading in the uh, Japan index, in the Nikkei. And so, so those gaps that you see on the Sony chart versus if we're a U.S. based company, you know, traded over the New York Stock Exchange or Nasdaq, uh, you know, those gaps have more meaning. So, so disregard any gaps that you see if you would be trading, uh, if you would be trading Sony. Don't use those gaps that you would in traditional uh, markets here in the uh, U.S. Okay. Okay. 
they have absolutely I, no they have absolutely no meaning because you're dealing with both foreign currency translations you're dealing with the underlying market uh being overseas uh as far as you're looking at this uh, so were you looking at this then as a short or a long position i'm looking at a a, a short maybe two to three day you know a pullback here because it looks like it gapped up on a bearish looking candle here and if you go back to may it looks like a I know an area of resistance there in May, and I does it look like it's fixing to break north or south from here to you? Well, I, I I think if you take so if you take a look, let's take a look at yesterday's candle, and and even though it's a red candle, you still gapped up or Sony gapped up, and it did it with eight point two million shares, so pretty good volume considering the uh, session here. You know, it's it's shown volume, it's shown pretty good volume, quite frankly, and I uh, so the the candle from yesterday, you've got a gap up, and even though you had a little bit lower close, it closed off as session highs. That alone, unto itself, that is not a bearish candle out there. That is a, at least it is not a reversal signal. And what you would okay. want to be paying attention to, you'd want to be trying to identify reversal signals out there. And so that that itself doesn't qualify. The gaps, we're just simply going to throw gaps out the window when we take a look at uh, Sony. Uh, my own personal preference, if you were taking a look at Sony, I would be trying to take a look at Sony to the long side. Not necessarily from here, because it is really right. overextended, but on a pullback. If Sony were to bless us with a little bit of a pullback, maybe mm -hmm. the pullback here may only come down to the 200-day uh, you know, exponential moving average. That would be right around the 13-16 uh, level or so. It's a trading at 1519 right now. Uh, maybe it pulls back uh, you know, a bit further, but I wouldn't be... And, and the other thing here, Brian, is that when you're looking for short candidates, the one thing that you want to stay away from is something that's trading at 15 bucks. Now, if it's an ETF or something like that that is dealing with some other underlying instruments, you know that's a different picture. But on a stock like Sony at fifteen dollars, the downside potential Sony's not going to go out of business, no way. And so your downside potential gets really uh, is really minimum. Versus the upside potential in Sony, you know, Sony at one point in time, if we pull this thing back, if I go ahead and put this on a, a monthly chart, you know, somebody could buy Sony out. It traded 160 bucks back in 2000. So I don't think it's going to go from $15 to 200 bucks. But you see, your downside potential is really small here. You would be better off looking at a chart. You know, if I go, let's go, in fact, let's go take a look at it. We had a, a caller uh, yesterday. Uh, we were taking a look at uh, Chipotle. And uh, he was uh, good enough to point out Chipotle was uh, moving into, and the, the ticker symbol there is uh, CMG. And he was good enough to point out that the uh, last time Chipotle had gotten up to the 200-day exponential moving average, that's kind of the black squiggly line going across my screen. The last time it got up there was September 17th, and that acted as an area of resistance. Well, yesterday it really closed on that 200-day exponential moving average. You're, right now you're getting a bearish engulfing candle. The trading session is not over. The day is not over. But here's a $300 stock. I would rather see you go short on a $300 stock, something that has moved up towards the top of its relative strength indicator, uh, has, has come back into a pattern where in the uh, past uh, it has reversed itself, and then the bearish candle signal, which would be your triggers, what it is that you've gotten today. And the upside potential, not that there's not upside potential here, but it's not so lopsided like in the case of uh, Sony. Does that, does that help you? Does that make sense? helps a lot and i appreciate it thanks a lot you Great. bet. Thanks for calling. We'll look forward to speaking to you again. Thank Folks, this is you. a pleasure. You bet. We get to go out to the villages just down the street from us in uh, Florida. We're going to go speak with our winner of the uh, Great Panther Silver Giveaway, and it is Pat. Pat, thanks for calling in. How are you today? Good. How are you doing, Steve? Uh, doing great. Hey, congratulations, and thanks for taking the time to enter our Great Panther Silver Giveaway. Well, it's a How long have you been a listener? It's Go a ahead. beautiful day in the villages, as usual. Oh, that's great. That's great. How long have you been up in the uh, villages area? Uh, we just came down in December, but we're going to do uh, six and six. We're going to be here six months, and we're going to be on Cape Cod six months. So it doesn't get oh, that. Hey, that sounds like a, a great uh, plan. Now, uh, do you? Uh, they got quite a few golf courses out there. Do you? Do you play golf, or just take advantage of all the other fun activities? I take advantage of all the other fun activities and uh, watch the stocks all day long and have TFNN on all day long. That's what I enjoy doing. Oh, we love hearing that. Well, how long have you been a TFNN listener? 
Oh, geez, since 1998. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. Well, welcome down to Florida. Hey, I might suggest that you spend uh, six months in a day. Actually, I don't know what it uh, uh, what it means to have your you know whether what it what it requires to be a resident of Florida. But it is pretty nice uh, being in a uh, state with no state income taxes. Well, you get that right. Yeah, we did. We're going to do that. We're we already uh, homesteaded down here, so we can save on the taxes and and get out of paying excise taxes and all those things that go along with living in Massachusetts. Oh, that's great. You know, uh, folks, uh, Pat is just giving you a success formula for sure. Six months, or just less than six months up in uh, Cape Cod, and the rest of the time joining us down here in Florida. Well, Pat, if you ever get a chance, uh, come visit us in Clearwater, uh, Suite 618, and we would love to give you a hug. And congratulations on being a great Panther Silver giveaway winner. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thanks for all the education you provide online. It's really a great service. Uh, we we appreciate it. Thanks so much for listening in. Let's go back and take a look at these uh, markets out here, folks. Let's take a look at uh, some of the commodities. Let's go. You know, we were talking about natural gas earlier, talking about the importance of those uh, doji candles coming into resistance areas and on natural gas. Now, it has broken out if we're taking a look at the chart here. You know, uh, if you've been listening on TFNN, we've been watching that rising price channel. That rising price channel, this is the second time outside of it. I've now added a, a new price channel out here that looks like natural gas may be trading into this is a uh, declining price channel here we may see nat gas come all the way down to the uh, bottom of that level that would be a little bit of an extension off of the uh, lows out here from the uh, candle of uh, december 30 i'm sorry of uh, january is it january uh, january january 2nd uh, candle out here you can see nat gas trading inside it and so it suggests at least coming down to 317, I think more likely a test of that low at 305. So it could be that we are seeing, even though we are in the dead of winter out there, and, you know, David White does a, a great job of taking a look at uh, analyzing some of the fundamentals. I was uh, listening to his show yesterday, and you can always catch David from 2 to 3, was talking about there's just simply no place to park any more of the natural gas. And even though some of the folks are cooling off in the uh, north i believe in chicago it was in the 60s or so so we are seeing natural gas move down looks like we may have a new price channel that natural gas is beginning to travel into let's go to uh, marty in uh, largo marty uh, thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you today great how are you doing steve absolutely doing wonderful thanks for asking what did you want to take a look at well, I didn't necessarily want to take a look at anything. I just wanted to thank you all for including me in the contest. I got a message yesterday that I uh, got one of the oh. great Panther Silver coins. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. From yeah. I know this voice. I know this voice. Thanks so much for calling in. Well, thank you that's, very much. I, I was that's, shocked to hear one. And, uh, you know, you're you're one of the Silver Kings out there. That's right. All of the... Uh, silver we brought in uh, about a year ago uh just kind of funny how i ended up getting a nice coin anyway as a oh that's nice that's that uh, that's Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, you know, uh, we appreciate all your business. We appreciate you listening on TFNN, and uh, we're thrilled. I'm thrilled that you uh, that you won one of our great Panther Silver coins out there. That is really that's really wonderful, and I appreciate you calling in. Well, uh, thank you again. Uh, we. You know, love to listen to your show, uh, share it with a lot of people. It's a great education out there for uh, people to uh, uh, really learn something that what's actually going on in the market. Really appreciate it. Well, we 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 appreciate that. Appreciate those kind comments. Anything that you uh, that you're trading, anything you want to take a look at, as long as you as long as you did uh, call in. And if not, it's okay. Uh, not not necessarily. I just wanted to call. Okay. In. Thank you all. Perfect. Hey, Marty, great to hear your voice, as always. Another good tiger out there. Thanks for calling in, and have yourself a great day. You too. Thanks again. Okay. All righty, all righty. So uh, that's always a wonderful thing. I uh, didn't expect uh, that uh, call. So, and folks, you know, if you do win and you're busy at work, uh, you know, we certainly do encourage you to call in and just uh, say hello to us. Always love to hear from any of our Tigers out there. Remember, our number is 877-927-6648. So we take a look at natural gas. Let's go over, in fact, let's take a look at silver 
And uh, if we take a look at uh, silver out here, trading out right now at 31.19. Now, silver was pulling back. If we take a look at silver, you're noticing this little descending tops area. Uh, coming off, this was a shorter term chart. This was coming off of the highs of November 30th out there. I use as a, uh, another touch point the uh, 12, 12, 12 high. That was at the uh, 3387 uh, mark out there. Uh, that simply seems to have uh, silver trading below there. If we do see a bounce, I suspect what we'll see is perhaps a, a test of that uh, trend line. Now, silver acting stronger than gold. And what I mean by that is if we take a look at the uh, low that was recently put in in January, January 4, 2013, the high is $30.30. Silver did not make it all the way down to that level. Silver has not made it all the way back to the point six one eight. You got a little bullish engulfing here this morning, but if I switch over and we take a look at the uh, gold contract, if we look at the continuous gold contract, what you will see is you'll see, in essence, that same trend line. I'm coming off of the highs here on November 23rd. Now, the next touch point out here, also 12, 12, 12, and what you can see is still as gold as it pulled back. Gold going ahead yesterday making a point six one eight retracement. And what I mean by that, folks, I'm coming off of the low, that hammer candle. Hammer candle is a very strong, very strong support area. That's 1626. So if you see 1626 get taken out, number one, you will see retracement down to the 0.786 level of the entire move. If you ask me what that price is, I'll go calculate it for you. That would be saying that gold would uh, next move down to 1584. But you take things one day at a time. Why is that price? Uh, why is that 1620 area so important? Well, number one, great Fibonacci uh, numbers here coming together as that low was being made. You had a 1.618 expansion of a swing point again if you're just listening on the radio just go to the home page of tfnn.com click on tiger tv go to channel nine sometime later this afternoon you can see the archive of the show you'd be breaking a hammer you'd be breaking a 0.618 retracement that would say the 0.786 level but right now gold coming down to the 0.618 of its last move up coming down to that trend line having a nice little bounce here this morning 877-927-6648 dow's up 16 i'll be right back you take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long Long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. 
If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, the opening call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, the opening call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, the Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're It absolutely is, folks. Welcome back. The yeah, Dow is up 31 points right now, trading out at 13,913. They composite down six. S&P's up two points. Russell 2,000 down a point. Let's go take a look at the Ford. Ford out with uh, earnings uh, before the uh, bell. They did uh, for the, uh, where was I looking at the number? The net income attributable to the company for the fourth quarter, $1.6 billion versus $13.6 billion from a year ago. You know, in the Ford chart here, certainly getting into the over the extreme over uh, bought uh, territory only a matter of time before it started to make a uh, correction volume today not too shabby here it's done uh, well it's done 26 million i should say it's done 26 million shares in the uh, first half hour now as we take a look at uh, some of the uh, large up thrusts here that's what we're going to go ahead and benchmark this against as it pulls back the uh, first area that it's uh, going to pull back into where we had some nice uh, price spread here the candles trading into is the January 3rd level, 121 million shares. We had price spread there of uh, 1305 down to the, or up to the 1369 level. Again, 121 million shares, slightly behind that. The uh, highest volume a day during this uh, move to the upside happened to be uh, December 26th out there. Nice little Christmas present, 140 million shares. That move was from 1231 to 1279 out there. You know, a lot of folks, that's why I want you to go ahead and I want you to put these indicators on your uh, system out here because you might be taking a look at, do I want to get into a stock? In fact, I am going to be doing a 60-minute uh, uh, workshop out there, the details, working on the details right now, where I will teach folks how to uh, use this indicator <clears throat> uh, along with uh, candlesticks. Uh, so we're putting that together here at TFNN. What I don't want you to do, what you don't need to do is chase something. If you're wondering whether or not it's something that you should be in, and make sure that you go ahead and take a look at relative strength, relative weakness out there, and be buying as you're coming off of those lows. Don't be chasing something when it is in a overbought uh, territory. You want to be able to wait for the pullback. Sometimes you just simply have to be patient as all can be. But you want to be buying it, folks. You want to be buying something when it is coming from the uh, lows of that indicator. If you take a look at the Ford out here, certainly if you go back into the July time frame, July of 2012, when it was trading down at about the 891 level, you know that. That is where you want to be taking a look at uh, buying. In fact, uh, what Ford is showing, it's going to show one of the uh, divergent patterns that I'm going to be teaching at that uh, free workshop out there. Again, we'll get all the details together. I suppose we'll, I would imagine we'll have those together by the end of the week. Now what we're seeing, we're seeing Ford pull back. Uh, it's pulling back on some pretty decent volume, but it's going against really nice volume to the upside. Looks like uh, Ford may give us a, uh, uh, may do us a favor for those of you that would like to uh, get in on 
on for it. It's a heck night. It's a heck of a nice A to B leg. We're talking about an A to B leg from the. We'll use the low of August second, eight dollars and eighty two cents. That would be your A point out here. Your B point is going to be. It looks like either. Let's see. The high of uh, January seventeenth was uh, fourteen thirty. And 14.30 on January 15th. So that is going to be your A to B leg. That is a nice A to B leg. Now all we have to do is sit there, be patient, let Ford pull back. Ideally, it'll come back to the breakout area. And the breakout area on Ford would be right around the 11.47-ish range. It's at 13.25 right now. Uh, uh, we'll go ahead and watch and see if it gets down to the bottom of that relative strength indicator. And we'll wait for what? That's right. We'll wait for the bull. We'll wait for a bullish candle, and then we'll go ahead and draft right behind them. Stay tuned, folks, for the uh, Money Masters show. If you're off to uh, start your day, want you to have a, a safe day, a great day out there. And always remember this, folks. You have got an amazing power within yourself, and that power is so strong, it'll create a life of abundance, cure incurable diseases, build billion-dollar businesses, paint magnificent masterpieces, and create fantastic lives loving families. Thanks so much for being a part of our TFNN family. Have a great day, folks, or we'll see you in a few. Take care. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to mastering probability today. Because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.